Hi folks, TJ here. Have you played Atari today? <laughs> Ooh, I'm a terrible singer, but I'm not terribly uh, uncool or cool. Am I uncool? I don't know, but I own an Atari Lynx and that is mighty cool. You know what's funny is TJ, I forget if it was five years ago, ten years ago, I think five, six, seven, I sold my Atari Jaguar and it had the CD unit. I kind of kick myself now for doing it, but at the same time, I'm more of a computer Atari person. I didn't own an Atari 2600 back in the day. I was an Odyssey 2 kid, right? But when I purchased my first computer, it was an Atari 800 around 1980 or so. So I'm more of a computer Atarian, not a gaming person per se. Although I play tons of games now, especially on the, the Specky. But the Atari... The Atari Jaguar was cool. And again, I kind of kick myself for selling it because they're unobtaining them now for crazy prices. But I'm starting to find out. I googled quickly this morning. I don't know if people are just raising prices crazily and they're actually selling it. This I didn't go to ending auctions. But people are selling these things boxed for like $500. Crazy. There's some I think you could just get like the unit alone that's working and clean for $200. They seem astronomically high in price. I think every retro computer out there is kind of escalated like that. I don't know why I saved the Lynx. I think because it's a small package. <laughs> I don't want to talk about small packages. But, yeah, my I started getting rid of larger stuff years ago. Like, I owned a Next Cube. And the monitors were huge. And the computer was huge. I owned a B-Box. All things I would love to have if I had the space. I'm lacking that. I've got lots of space, but I have a wife, and I've got, you know, stuff you have to put some places. So I started selling some things off, sold the Atari Lynx. I'm glad I held on to this because I'm getting back so much into Atari and all the other platforms. Glad I held on to it. And I've got a decent little collection. By far, I don't know how many games they made for the Lynx. A hundred? I don't know. I only have like 14, 15 games. But I thought I would do a quick little video today, well not quick, but a video about my Atari Lynx because Atari! <laughs> I got my first Atari shirt. I finally uh, purchased an Atari shirt and this one's nice. I like the blue color. It says Atari on there and I've been enjoying getting back into my Atari. So let's talk about the Lynx. So back in the day, in the 1990s, I did buy the original Lynx one, the longer one. And I had a nice little portfolio case for it and games. I remember, I, I think I was already married at the time, because I got married in 1990. Married, oh, going to my folks for Christmas, playing with my Atari Lynx. It was fun. But then eventually, like I said, I sold it. I don't know if I owned one or two of them. I think just one with a lot of games and stuff. But I did later on, and I think in the 19... Maybe late 1990s, early 2000s, I purchased this Lynx. Now, this is a little bit interesting of a model because it's a, a foreign model. It's an international model, the checkered flag Lynx. I don't think this particular one was sold in the USA in this box, at least, because it came with a 220-volt power supply. I forget where I purchased it, how I purchased it, uh, but yeah, it's got a 220-volt power supply, and I never did buy a 110-volt power supply for it. But now I've got the uh, uh, up transformer, so technically I can go 110, the 220, and actually power my links if I want, but I run it off of batteries. So anyway, this box is kind of fun. It's a checkered links box. And on the front, it's got the Lynx 2 checkered flag game, contents Lynx 2 portable console, and it's basically a racing version. On the side of this box, it has some games as well as games listed on this side of the box. So let me look at these. Over on this side, it's got Blue Lightning, Paperboy, Rygar, Lynx Gauntlet, Awesome Golf, Toke, Toki, Toke, T-O-K-E, uh, Warbirds, uh, Ultimate Chess, Pac-Land, and California Games. And on this side, it was pimping the Warbirds, Ninja, Gaiden, the stickers over it so I can't see, but it looks like surfing, Ms. Pac-Man, Batman Returns, on this side of the box, it has, uh, this carton contains the Lynx and the checkered flag game. And then on this side of the box, it's got some information on the specs. You get an AC power cord, 
adapter not included. Well, I got one in there. Six AA batteries not included. Link's power source. Use one of the following. Okay, I get it. It doesn't come in there. Cigarette lighter adapter? Oh, I don't know if I have that. And this is adapter, adapter, or po recommended AC power adapter in Australia. So this is an Australian one. HES adapter for Lynx. Uh, so yeah, 240 volt, 50 hertz. Interesting. <laughs> and it's got a serial number on the bottom. And then on the back, it's got all your information about checkered flag. So kind of nice that I have the box. It's a little beat up, but not too shabby. And it says the Lynx is designed for everyone, anywhere, anytime. Ooh, I like that motto, anywhere, anytime. Uh, the world's first portable color entertainment system, Lynx 16-bit graphics engine provides outstanding color, dramatic graphics, fast action, exceptional depth of gameplay. Its 32-bit audio processor creates realistic sound for maximum enjoyment. Being an Atari fan, it's so sad that the Atari Jaguar and Lynx seem so ahead of the time in, in, in a way, but they just didn't market it, didn't have the money to make enough. I don't know, but they never captured such a big market that they could have. And because this was much nicer than the Nintendo, a little Playboy thing or whatever they call it. No, that's the Playboy is something different. Uh, Game Boy. <laughs> uh, eight direction built in joy pad. 4,000 colors, 16 colors at one time from a palette of 4,000. Multiplayer Comlinks cable. This unit also features volume control, headset jack, uh, buttons, pause, restart, flip, brightness, all sorts of stuff. And then it talks about the game, the racing game. I don't know if I even have that game. Hopefully it's in the box someplace. But anyway, let's open the box. I don't remember what's in here. Uh, oh, where do I open the box? Oh, he, there's a little thingy here. <laughs> another another little thingy here. Uh, things, things I'm saying, Kate. Small package. Little thingies. I'm not going to impress many people with this. Okay, so it's one of those flip open boxes, like so. It's got a little bunny thing on the top. Okay, nice. Uh, it, it's got the user manual in this. Uh, it looks like I saved the little user manual for it, so that's cool. I won't take it out of the plastic. You, you folks probably don't care about it much, but it's in there. And then, like I said, I do have the 240-volt AC adapter. And technically, I think I... I don't know if my unit has this exact plug or not. I think it does. I don't know. I'll have to look. But I've got an up transformer. But like I said, uh, I don't worry about that too much because I'm going to pretty much use batteries. Now, I don't see the checkered flag game in here, so I may have slipped it inside of another game box. I don't remember. But let's close this. I'm glad I saved the box. I'm, I'm one of those pack rats that saves original boxes. I love original boxes. And even when I buy old retro computers, I do the same thing. I save the boxes. I, I buy ones with boxes. Let's quickly show... Oh, I did save the box for whatever reason for the pouch. I do have the pouch for it, so that's cool. And the back of the box shows how you can store your cartridges and everything right in there, so that's cool. Uh, games. Let me grab part of them. So I've got Gates of Zendikon. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to... I think I left the batteries in there. I think w I'll try to quickly show you video gameplay on the actual unit. So I don't know how well that will come in. But I have factory pack sealed kicks. Quicks. Kicks. <laughs> uh, let me put this game over here because I want to play it. Zybots. Factory pack still. Now this is a game I do remember having back in the day. And I actually really liked it. <clears throat> kind of a 3D uh, type of game. I don't know if this is picking it up or not. Uh, Kung Fu. Crystal Mines 2. This looks like lots of fun. Steel Talon. Still sealed. Basket Brawl. Brawl. Still sealed. As you can tell, I never, like I said, I was more of an Atari computer person, and I did buy the Lynx and enjoyed it, but I wasn't one of those that sat for hours playing with an Atari Lynx. I would play on my computers instead. A Robo Squash Pins Gratuit. Uh, this is factory pack still. Uh, Ishido. Ted's exec Excellent Adventure Still Packed. Sealed. 
Hydra. Three more. And then APB still sealed. I'm going to have to unseal these and play them, I guess. Cyber Brawl. Future videos, I guess, I can make if I continue on. Uh, you know, it's always nice to splash a little bit different stuff on my website or YouTube channel. And Chips Challenge. And now that I'm getting back into my Ataris a bit more, I think I'll break these out a little bit more often. I'll maybe try to figure out a way I can uh, put this up on an HDMI screen or something and make it look a little bit more presentable. But now let's open up this. I'm pretty sure I've got two cartridges in here, and I don't remember. I thought it was California Games that was in here, but let me pop open the Gates of Zendikon, and that's the one that I think we'll play. So I do have two carts in here, Gates of Zendikon, and what's the other one? Uh, oh, oh, uh, California Games. So uh, what was the game that, oh, it was the Checker Flag. Hopefully it's in one of these other boxes or I don't own it. Uh, which would be kind of sucky because I'd like to have the checker flag game since I own the checker flag links, right? So what's cool, if you haven't seen a Lynx cartridge before, it's got a little hand grippy thing on the side. You can kind of see it up here. And they're fun little small cartridges. And it's got uh, Lynx of Gates of Zendikon. And on the back, it's got the little Atari logo. You probably won't pick that up, but right in the middle. So, you know, it, it, this was such a tight little cool thing. Uh, tight little cool thing. There's another innuendo. Okay, my Atari Lynx. I have it here in my... Oh, I guess if you've got uh, a little strap here, so if you want to carry it around, you go into your LAN party. Everybody else is landing it, but you're playing with your Atari Lynx over in the corner. <laughs> and, and nice pouch. And my Atari Lynx in pretty dang nice condition that's the front of it the back of it it's got the nice Atari logo top you've got volume brightness power com links and headphones <clears throat> bottom has got a battery door it takes I think four or six I think six double uh, A batteries and nothing on the corners. Everything's just contoured so when you're playing it, like so. So let me go ahead and slap in the cartridge. So the cartridges, here's the little door on the back. Cartridges, you point the picture towards your face, towards you, and, and you just push it in. So it's a nice, I mean, look at how clean that is, right? So let's go ahead and actually, let me reach around here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this and play it. <clears throat> we'll try. So, uh, power button on. So, let's see. It's been a while since I've heard this thing on. Okay. Uh, on. Oh, it's lighting up. There's a power light lit up. Uh, oh, it says something. The gates of Zendikon. It's kind of hard for me to... I can't see from this angle. So, let me see if I can do this. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'll, pl I'll play through here. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, where's the start key? Uh... Oh, oh. oh, no, I don't want to restart. Oh! Oh, sh oh crap! I'm teleporting! <laughs> i got to hold it a little farther away. Holy shit. That son of a be scaring me. <laughs> oh, little things of bubbles are falling. It's kind of hard to play through this video thing. I'm kind of blind. Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm going to tear him. He's got bombs coming flying out. I can't see. <laughs> oh, let me take my glasses off. Then I can see. Oh, they're going to slide off the table. Hold on. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you got this little thing. You're going to fly out of your chute. And just start shooting. Shoot. Shoot. I'm just going to shoot like hell. Oh, and I died. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of hard to play like this. See, people that have really uh, good video, <laughs> uh, you know, they could show this on like a big screen. But no, I'm, I'm sitting here playing it through my camera screen, and I'm probably really loud right now. But I am still alive! 
Oh, I'm still alive! Holy crap! Oh, I died! Oh no, I don't know. I didn't. I, yeah, I died. I died. <laughs> okay, so that's Gate of the Souls. You can see uh, the video looks pretty damn cool. This was a color. Let me go back over here. Let me put my glasses back on. You probably saw enough of my awesome gameplay. <laughs> so, you know, the colors. This was a color gaming handheld. Great sound. You could connect headphones up to it. All sorts of stuff. Now, uh, I don't think it, the Comlinks cable. Yeah, that's to, so you can connect up to other uh, other um, Linksys so you could play multiplayer. But I don't think there's a way to connect this to a big screen. Unless the Comlinks thing has a way to... Do something else. I don't think so. So, yeah, your video is going to be this. You probably have to get some type of little thing to cover if you're going to show yourself off playing this game. But, yeah, it's... Let me go ahead and turn it off. Off. So, that was cool. So, Atari Lynx. I've got a decent little collection. I'm not going to sell this one. Now, like I said, I've, I've, I've been enjoying Atari again. Kicked myself for selling the Jaguar. But at the same time, I don't. The money that I used it for was something I'm sure I wanted at the time. So, anyway, that's it. Atari Lynx. Have you played Atari today? Great, fun, handheld. And slowly but surely, I'll start adding some more games. I need to get Dig Dug. I love Dig Dug. I'm pretty sure they had to come out with Dig Dug on this. So, anyway, thanks for watching the video. Have a great day. Bye.